guys, it is Diamond and today I am here to give you guys a little tutorial and some information and a review basically all in one on how I made this really realistic looking lace front box braid wig. So starting off all the products that I got are from samsbeauty.com. I'm quickly going to show you guys the products and I also have a little giveaway um, that is going to go along with this video that's hosted by me and Sam's Beauty. So stay tuned to the end if you want to learn about the little giveaway. So um, the items that I got from Sam's Beauty to create this unit look basically is I got the Free Tress Braid Long Box Braid Crochet Braids. So this is what they look like. And this is what the girl looks like. And yeah, so it's just crochet braids. It is the free dress crochet braids. And these are the long box braids. These are the largest size, the ones that I got. Before, in my previous um, video I did with Sam's Beauty, I did my own box braids. And I got the Expression Premium Ultra Braid. And I got the color 1. This is the color 1B. So I got the Expressions braiding hair, basically. This is what I have left over. But I got this from Sam's Beauty the last time. I also got this Free Tress, the Free Tress crocheting cap, or the Free Tress cap that already has, basically it already has um, braids on it. So you guys will see that in the video. Of course, it's on my head, so I can't show you. And I just got a crochet needle. So I'm basically just going to go through the steps and insert the clips of how I made this unit. And hopefully it's helpful for you guys and it's easy to follow. So basically, um, with the free tress crochet long large box braids, what I did was I went into the back of the unit and I just crocheted in the hair. Now the thing with box braids that's kind of hard for me, no, the thing with crochet braids that's kind of hard for me is you have to space them out because if you don't space them out and you pack the head in with hair, um, you're going to have way too many braids in your head, you're going to have way too much hair. Um, you need to space them out or else it'll be really heavy, it'll be way too much hair on the cap. It's just, it's not going to look as nice and as natural. So make sure you space it out. I spaced each braid out at least an inch to an inch and a half to two inches, just depending on where it was. So, um, I went ahead and did that all throughout the back of the cap. So, this um, second part that I tried, um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I just wanted to try it anyway. This is just, you know, a first timer type of thing. So, what I did was I got an old lace wig. This was a full lace wig that I got a really long time ago. Um, it was basically sitting ready to get thrown away. But um, the part where it has the actual lace and not the back where it's like the stretchy lace, um, that part was still perfectly fine. The back part was a little bit tangly, but the front was okay. So I decided to go ahead and make that into a lace frontal instead of a full lace wig. So I went ahead and measured the front part of the hair, that the front part of the cap that I left out. I put the lace wig on top of it and basically pinned everything down and cut so I could kind of get a lace frontal type of thing so I could use for this wig. Sounds confusing, but you're really just cutting the front part of the wig off so you can use it as a lace front. Um, you can do that with actually for anything. If you just need a little quick lace frontal or something, or you're just retiring or trying to repurpose an old wig, you can actually do that. So I actually thought it was a really good idea when I thought about it. So yeah, I ended up cutting the front of the full lace wig off and attaching it to the um, cap where I stopped the braids. Um, I ended up bleaching the knots. You can bleach the knots at any time. You could do it before you braid the hair or after you braid the hair. It doesn't matter. So I attached the lace frontal onto the braided cap. I left the braided part under the lace frontal just while I was finishing everything up and I just cut it off at the end. So basically what I ended up doing was going in with the expressions braiding hair and doing box braids along the lace frontal. Like I said, it was an old lace frontal. It's not like brand new, you know. You don't really need a brand new one for this. It's really not, you know, you're not really gonna see the actual hair itself. You just need it for the lace. So I went through and braided um, box braids into lace frontal. It didn't take that long, but I did take my time. And I am not a braider at all. This would be my second time doing 
you know, single braids or box braids or, you know, whatever you want to call them. It's only my second time doing it. So, of course, there's better ways to braid. I just don't, I don't braid. So, I just did it to the best that I could. I did the parts the best I could. I tried to keep everything the same length. So, I mean, the same size. So, then once I went through and braided the entire frontal, that's when I went ahead and bleach the knots but you could do it before it actually would be easier if you did it before so you don't have to worry about messing up your braids but I just was you know this was my first time so trial and error um once I did finish that everything looked good um while I was braiding I did remember to go ahead and leave a little bit of hair in the very front for baby hairs you don't have to do baby hairs but I did want to do baby hairs my whole inspiration for this was a real 90s look um, so I wanted really dramatic baby hair so I left out kind of a lot but of course you don't have to do that if you don't want to so once you finish braiding the frontal I actually went back and made sure I didn't need to fill in any more of the crochet braids um, just in between the space where the frontal started and the crochets ended I just went in and saw if I needed to fill in anything else but once I got done with that everything was basically done um, I ended up putting an elastic band from the ear ear parts of the frontal just straight across and how I do that is I just measure with the elastic band I don't stretch it I just put it from ear to ear and I cut it in half and then I use that half just to make sure everything stays on sturdy but the cap does have an adjustable strap um I went ahead and sewed the frontal the adjustable strap and the elastic band all together so that everything's kind of like meshing as one I don't want stuff hanging and stuff and that was it um the braided cap the free trust braided cap honestly when I saw that I'm like oh my god that's a joke like this is a fool and I was like if you're doing a wig you don't need to get a cap like that it's cool looking but you honestly don't need to get a cap like that you can get a normal cap um but as far as for the crocheting the the braids actually work great it's better than going through and sewing each individual um crochet hook crochet braid onto the cap so I really liked the cap for crochet braiding. Um, they do come with like these baby, these baby hairs in the front and it seemed me like they're trying to mimic like African American hair because it's not like, you know, baby hairs. It's like these little crunchy things coming out. And if you get the cap, you'll see what I mean. But it was, it was a cool cap for the crochet braids, I will say. Under the frontal, I did cut it um, because I did bleach the knots. So I want you to see like more scalp instead of seeing like the black, uh, you know, braids underneath. But that cap fits your head perfect. It fit my head so perfect. It wasn't too big. It wasn't too small. So putting the frontal in the front and basically taking up the rest of the space of the cap made it fit perfectly on my head. So I would definitely recommend this cap for this specific thing that I did because it fit my head so perfectly. Um, so yeah, as for the cap, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I think it works great for the purpose and it fit my head great. So I really do like that. So as for the crochet braids, I did see um, some negative reviews on the crochet braids because of the fact that only nine come in this package. So when you're ordering these, know that only nine come in this package. I got 11 packs and I used 10 packs. Um, I used exactly 10 packs and I still have this one pack left. So that's 90 crochet braids that are in my head. Um, so just know only nine come in here. I don't know if it's different per company, but only nine come in this package from Sam's Beauty. So yeah. When I was doing the front, since I tried to even out the braids and make them look like how the crochet braids look, I used about two and a half packs of hair just for the front alone. Um, and I did my braids large. I want large braids. I like large braids. Like I said, I was going for a 90s look. So this is definitely the look that I was going for when I was doing this. Um, I got these, you know, little accents. I also got them from Sam's Beauty. These are in the color gold. You can also get them in silver. I just so happen to like the gold. And the crochet, crochet needle works great. So, yeah. All together, um, this was a very interesting thing for me. It was my first time. But I had looked at a couple other videos. Um, not exactly what I did, but something similar. Just kind of gave me a little bit of inspiration. So, I'm going to show you what the hair looks like when I put all the hair to the front. 
So this is what it looks like with all the hair to the front. Like I said, whenever you're doing crochet braids, I feel like a, you are just going to use a lot of hair. Like, it's going to be a lot. However, I do like the fact that this is not super heavy. Last time I got crochet braids and I also worked with Sam's Beauty that time, I had so much hair in my head and I did not like it. It was way more heavy. But this, I actually like this look. Um, I do have it a little half up, half down. And I just like it so much. I love the dramatic baby hairs. If you don't want to do that, you definitely don't have to. But this was definitely a good um, experience for me. Everything that I used was from Sam's Beauty. Every single thing that I used was from Sam's Beauty. And it just works great. I love Sam's Beauty because you can get everything there that you need. If you don't see it, like, immediately, if you search it, it'll usually be there. Um, so I was able to get everything I needed just in this one place. Came in one box. Super easy, super simple, and this tutorial is not hard. Now, if I ever want just to have the look of box braids or if I'm just ever feeling, you know, like, like I just want this kind of look, I can just throw these on one day and I don't have to sit through the process. I hate getting my hair braided because I just don't wear my hair long enough to wear, to sit for eight hours or however many hours and then just take it out in one week. So, yeah, so that's that. So, now I do have a little giveaway that I'm doing with Sam's Beauty. It is for these oval brushes. If you guys have heard of the very popular Artiste brushes, these are basically some dupes for that. You're going to get a large, the, you're going to get the extra large oval brush, and then like I guess the normal size oval brush. And these are supposed to be good for like your foundation, concealer, things like that. So, there will be five winners. And what you guys are going to have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Sam's Beauty on Instagram. And there will be a picture from today. And you guys will just go and comment whatever on that specific picture. Um, once the giveaway winners are chosen, I will... Have from when this video is posted, the giveaway will run for just one week. You'll go comment on that photo and then I will pick the five winners and... You guys will send, I will send the names of the five winners to uh, Sam's Beauty and then you guys will send them your um, info or maybe I'll get your info and send it, whatever. Um, this is for the United States only. That's their rule that it has to be United so really simple giveaway if you guys would like to win these cute two little brushes from Sam's Beauty. Just go on my Instagram and make sure that you follow them on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Comment on the photo from today. I will be, you know, looking just like this. And you guys can easily enter and just win these two brushes really quick. So like I said, it'll run for one week. The um, rules will be in the description box as well if you guys didn't catch anything or something like that. So yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!